The Prime Minister received a phone call from the US President today on Donald Trump rings Scott Morrison. It's always for an important reason and there's no doubt that the Prime Minister was uh, fairly humble in his approach on the Gold Coast today when he said, oh, well, look, you know, the President said good things about what we've, what we've been doing with coronavirus. But, but the critical part that came out of that meeting seems to be an absolute commitment to trust, getting on with the business of letting people loose in the economy to tackling the coronavirus by all means. But this was a discussion between mates. The 100 years of mateship thing is still ringing very true in Donald Trump's year and, of course, very vital to Scott Morrison as well. And, well, might they have that conversation given some of the things that are happening on the western side of the Pacific with the People's Republic of China and the Chinese Communist Party. We'll talk a bit about that tonight, how they've been incredibly isolated. They've got no friends. They've got no mates. They are never no mates, the Chinese Communist Party. And so it's important to have mates, and mateship is important. Equally important is a sense of national vision, a sense of importance about what we can do as a country, not in a collectivist way, but encouraging individuals to go out and achieve good things for themselves, good things for their family, their communities, and indeed our nation as well. But we have tonight, in my view, a contrast between that kind of national ambition and national vision and state arrogance. I think Tony Abbott kind of summed it up a bit uh, this week as well when he talked about that sense of giving things a go. Because I really do want to stand very strongly for the entrepreneurial class, the group of people who want to give things a go. But when it comes to parliament and parliamentary service, I've always believed that parliament is meant to be the ultimate form of community service. Yes, people are paid. They are paid a fee to attend parliament. They're paid a fee to be available to their community to represent them both in the local area and when they go and sit in the parliament. But nevertheless, it is still about the motivation of doing good things for your community, doing good things for your nation. But, of course, there are some people who get elected to parliament who just think, well, Australia is just damn lucky that we're available to serve right now. And I could name a few of them, but the lawyers would be on the phone. You could think of a few of them. You could think of a few of them that fall into that category of feeling, being so full of themselves that they think that you and I were lucky that they were suddenly available to serve. But in Australia right now, and it's true in the United States as well, we have a multitude of governments, a multitude of agendas that seem to be operating, and this is not what was meant to happen out of our Federation. The Federation was meant to be much better than that. It was meant to be a case of, let's bring the best ideas to the table, share it around, let's get everybody to make best use of the best practice, the best ideas. Prime Minister Morrison bringing in the National Cabinet, as he did at the beginning of this coronavirus catastrophe, was seen as a genius in that he was putting the standing committee of the old Council of Australian Governments together so that they would meet more regularly, meet more often, be able to swap ideas. And yet, despite all of that, despite all of that, we've still got this kind of fiefdom, this kind of palace urgency associated with some of the state leaders where they think... They, their view and the way they run things, arrogantly they believe this, is far more important than the national good. And, well, of course I'm talking about Victoria, but right now, and we'll talk about it in a moment, the values, the vision, the national purpose is very important. We don't need people in Parliament who are just about managing our decline. We don't need people in Parliament who are about ticking the boxes, meeting our international agreements and protocols. We need people in Parliament who are passionate about the areas they represent, passionate about the nation that they're part of and passionate about making a difference that's going to benefit all of us. That's really what Parliament should be about. But unfortunately, we're not getting enough of that. We need the entrepreneurial types, the people willing to give it a go. We need to back them. We need government out of the way. Less red tape, less regulation and less taxation. That's part of what Donald Trump was saying to Scott Morrison today, and I think they're right. I'm keen to know what you think. Hashtag Hardgrave at skynews.com.au. And you can send me an email, gary.hardgrave at skynews.com.au.